It's a cold, dreary winter day in my world. I'm really ready to bring in the colors of spring. Let me show you a great, easy technique for painting bright colored buds. For this technique, I use just some really simple art materials. I have my watercolor set, a round brush for watercolor, my water. I like to activate my watercolors with a spray bottle of clean water. I'll be using a very thin tipped permanent marker. This is a Micron 005. Any of your uh, tiny little tipped black pens will work. We're not putting water on top of it, so it doesn't have to be um, archival or permanent. Any black pen will work. And then your watercolor paper. I really enjoy working on this four by six postcard paper. You can work on a full sheet. Um, any of the watercolor papers will work. It's also helpful to have a piece of uh, paper towel nearby because you're going to be wiping your brush frequently. So begin by activating your watercolors. I'm just spraying some clean water onto my palette. I'm getting my brush wet and I'm going to pick up some paint and I want this to be pretty wet. Then, this is so simple, I'm just going to make a big U shape. It doesn't have to be perfect just a big open U-shape. Now I'm washing off my brush and I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to pull some clean water down to meet the pigment that's down in the bottom. I like the variation of pigment so I'm going to play with leaving some clean areas with clean water, letting it pull up the pigment and letting some of that flow. Now the shape ultimately is the shape of a bud like that. There you go. That's the first bud. Now if I want to get really wild, I can drop in some other colors onto the puddles of water. So that's really shiny. That means it's still really wet. Let's do that one again. So I have um, my brush is loaded with pigment. I'm going to make a U shape. And again, that's pretty puddly. I can see that that's shiny. Now I take some clean water and I come down and I touch it, allowing the pigment to slide up that, that uh, area of water. And I can bring that down and kind of coax the pigment a little bit if I want. If it, the pigment doesn't seem to be moving that much, I can coax it and pull it where I want. But basically, this is the shape of the bud. And as I mentioned, I could drop other colors in. Woo, look at that. I love the way that just bloomed. Okay, let's do one more. And I can set these U shapes going in any direction. They just have to be nice and thick. Now this one I'm gonna do a little differently. I'm gonna start at the bottom and pull the pigment out. So I'm starting at the bottom, I've pulled the pigment, I'm creating that bud shape. Now you'll notice on all of these buds, I leave some white area, like here, 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 here. That's just gonna add a little sparkle when we go over this with our pen. So those are the bud shapes, they have to dry completely before the next step. So these little buds, these little bundles of joy and color are completely dry. I'm going to now add my pen details. So first of all, if they're tulips that I want to uh, portray, I just get the stem of the tulip to start right at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw out some indication of the petals. And I never try to be too perfect with my pen work. It's going to look better if it's nice and loose. And then if I go back in and even add a little extra oomph just to show the roundness of the form, and I'll darken back there. There's a tulip, look how easy. And you see how that white space there adds a little sparkle? So let's do that on this tulip in the background. I'm just adding what I would consider an area for one of the petals. And I'm letting my pen just add a little more detail. And then in the back here, I'll just darken that back petal just a little bit. And now I've got that tulip. And let's bring the stem down here. And then for the third one, 
I can do the same. This is such a quick and easy technique. And of course, you might need to go out and buy yourself some tulips or go take a look at the buds in the flower store if you're in the middle of winter. Um, and if you're looking at this and it's spring and summer, just go out to the garden and take a look and you'll see the basic shapes. So that's how I would do tulips. This one is a postcard where I just was playing with a bunch of different fun colors. Now, for any bud other than a tulip, I've got these little leaf shapes down here. So let me just, just for fun, I'm gonna put on three and then finish it the same way I did the tulip, maybe with some more leaves, or excuse me, petals. And I let the pigment that was on here kind of guide my, my pen work. So in other words, I came back and put a little petal back there because there was a bit more pigment. But here too, you can see the white area. And I just ignore it for these little leaves. and get my petals drawn on nice and loose. And you can see how the buds are looking there. Here's a postcard where I just played with as many different colors as I could pull out of my watercolor set. And here's a postcard where I did more like tulips and I included the, um, the big green leaves. I decided to just leave that where the buds are the, are the color. And finally, here's another vase with tulips where I stayed with just those colors. It's super fun. Have a good time. Let it be loose. Don't worry about perfection. And just bring some color and joy into your art world. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and I invite you to subscribe. And for more tips and tricks, come to my website, www.jcmammoth.net.